Georgians deal with unemployment. We do have some good news on the job front. Channel 2's Gwinnett County Bureau Chief Tony Thomas is live with information about a business that continues to grow, doing its part in the fight against the virus and also just staying in business. Tony? Jovita, we first visited Georgia Expo in Sewanee last week. Their core business has vanished right now, so they moved into making masks, but they needed employees. Since our story, 250 of you responded, and now the company continues to expand and is looking to gear up to make 100,000 masks a week. We've had just an absolutely huge response. Georgia Expo Vice President Amanda Gray says she's hired 17 seamstresses so far, and at least another 30 are in the pipeline. The financial benefit of this job has been monumental. <laughs> Rebecca Lennox is one of the new hires. Her husband lost his job due to the pandemic, and her work in promotions was slashed to 10 hours a week. I applied because I was already making masks on my own for donations through local charities. She's now working second shift, cranking out hundreds of similar type masks she had been making for free. Georgia Expo may add another line and weekend work as the contracts continue to come in and every indication is this short term fill the gap type work may continue for quite a while. As economies and, and states start opening up, I think a lot of companies are going to be providing masks for their employees. Company leaders say besides seamstresses, they've also added cutters and packers as well. Shipping some 55,000 masks this week with goals of doubling that number within a couple of weeks. We're running this at about half our uh, shop labor rate. It's not a get rich quick anything. It means a lot to me. It, I sleep really good at the end of the day. <laughs> Important note, Georgia Expo does not uh, sell direct to the public these masks, but they're working through vendors. Live in the Gwinnett Bureau, Tony Thomas, Channel 2 Action News. A teenager shot and